Hello, this is Doug Ferber with American Feast, and we're sitting here with Stacy Caldwell, who is the head of the uh, Friends of the Dallas Farmers Market, and we're trying to find out more about the, the farmers market here in downtown Dallas, as well as how it relates to some of the other farmers markets around the country. So without further ado, Stacy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Stacy Caldwell, and I've been serving on the board for the Dallas Farmers Market Friends for two years. I'm currently the president. The Friends organization got started in 1991. It's celebrating its 15th year, and the Dallas Farmers Market is celebrating its 65th year. Um, so the Dallas Farmers Market Friends uh, got started to really promote and advocate for the market. Our role has been hosting events and helping get the word out about the farmer's market. We help organize cooking classes with local chefs um, and we also partner up with the American Institute of Food and Wine and Slow Foods here at the market on a number of different programs. Why, in your opinion, is it important for um, people as they buy their food, their fresh produce, why do you think it's important to support and buy food at the farmers markets? Well, there's a couple different answers to that question uh, that come to mind. And the first and foremost is the quality of the food. Um, the Dallas farmers market is really um, an agricultural hub for the region. And when I say region, I also mean the surrounding states. Um, now, it has evolved, and it's a lot different than what most people would think of as a farmers market. Um, in the late 30s and the early 40s, it really was a bunch of uh, trucks pulling up into a parking lot and uh, the farmers selling their wares. We now have uh, four different sheds, three of them outdoor, one of them indoor. And those sheds are serviced by what we call farm merchants and produce dealers. And we also have some traditional farmers. However, our traditional farmers use this market in the wholesale market at night. What we have found is most of the regional farmers really don't have the time or the desire to retail their products. Um, typically, they're on the farm for about 15 hours a day. And so what they want to do is come and sell their products either to restaurants, different farm merchants who then turn around and sell the products at the market. We do have um, within the shed some traditional farmers, but uh, what you don't see is farmer after farmer after farmer. And again, the reason for that is the farmers themselves don't have a lot of time to do that as well as we want the diversity of products. And so those products, such as pineapples and um, Brussels sprouts and, and the different things that you can't grow here in Texas, the customers still want to see them at the farmer's market. So that's where we bring in wholesale um, product. What most people don't know about our wholesale is typically the product has been picked and put on a truck and delivered within 24 hours uh, within that cycle. And so you still buy a much fresher product at our farmer's market than you would at a grocery store, um, which typically has a, a terminal or a warehouse in which those products have been sitting. So that's a long way of telling you one of the reasons why you would want to shop at a farmer's market is to buy quality, fresh produce and to be able to talk to somebody about that produce, know where it came from, whether it is from within the Texas area or if it's from one of our surrounding states, but to have a good understanding of where it came from, how it was grown, um, and know that you're getting the best, best nutritional quality uh, uh, for your money. 